Hey, crypto family, hope y'all doing good today. So today I'm gonna to talk about a decentralized wallet for Solana called Slope. Now I know there's already some other decentralized wallets out there, but this one is actually the first mobile decentralized wallet for the Solana network. So I'm gonna go over exactly what it is, how you can download it, and basically how you can get set up and the features that come with it, as well as being able to download it on your phone. So with that, let's go and get started. So Slope it says on their website, building the world's best mobile decentralized exchange and wallet. Okay, if you go to their Twitter at Slope underscore finance, you can see they have 53,000 followers and they are followed by a lot of reputable people. Okay, so they have grown a big following. You can see their website here, slope.finance. You click on that, it'll bring you to their website. Now, a couple cool things here. It says you can access from multiple devices. So again, I mentioned it is a mobile wallet as well. So if you're on Android and you go to the Play Store and you type in Slope, it'll come up Slope Wallet and you can actually download it from there. So there's currently right now, there is no other mobile decentralized wallet for the Solana network. I know there's a few other players that are working on creating one, but as of right now, Slope is the only one. And it also says here, explore Solana dApps. And then if you scroll down, there's actually uh, some partners that they are partnered with that is basically uh, very reputable people. So you can see Solana Capital, Alameda Research, Sequoia, Spartan, Huobi. I mean, there is a lot of big players in here. So that tells you it's got a good backing and it is very reputable, okay? So that's one of the first things I look for. Next, how to download it. So basically all you do, again, if you're on Chrome, you just search Slope Wallet and it basically it will come up with the Chrome store and you can just add it to Chrome. Now, once you add it, again, it'll be in the top right. Now, I know you can't see my top right buttons, but it will be there and basically it'll take you to a screen where then you can create your own wallet and it'll basically have where you put in, it'll show you your seed phrase of 10 to 12 words. And then from there you'll save it in a Word document or save it offline, which is better on a piece of paper. And then it'll say uh, on the bottom, I've saved this, you click okay. And then from there, your wallet is created. Now you will have to add pin it to your extensions on top. So you can see it at the button. So basically, I clicked the little puzzle button on Chrome and I scroll down and you can see slope wallet here. I click the pin button and basically it is now pinned to the top. Okay. So after you've pinned it to the top, now we can get started with using the wallet. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the slope button and you can see here that this is what the wallet's going to look like once you open it. Okay. The mobile wallet will look very, very similar, if not the same. So first of all, what you need to do for this wallet is make sure you deposit soul. Okay. Now on the top, you'll see here that you do have where you hover over this address it says clock copy to clipboard. This is your Solana decentralized wallet address. Okay. So make sure you click copy to clipboard. Um, and then wherever you're withdrawing your Solana to again on a different exchange, say on FTX, on Binance, um, Coinbase, basically any of those exchanges you're withdrawing, just go ahead and paste this, ad this address here. And it's basically making sure that it's on the Solana network. And then again, your soul will then appear here once you've deposited it. Because again, this is using transaction fees. Uh, it uses soul for those transaction fees. So make sure that you do have soul in here. Now, after that, next, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this tab up here and you can see the different features. So it mentions your wallet here. You can also add another wallet. Uh, basically you have light mode or dark mode help and support and then lock your wallet basically if you're going away for a second click lock wallet and they'll show up to where you have to type in your password okay next let's go ahead and right here this button here send so again if you're sending crypto look at that it says you need to deposit soul in order to pay for transactions okay so again make sure you have soul in here if you do want to send and receive as well as swap different coins uh, next, receive, you just click that and then you can search for a token or you can scroll down. Again, click on USDC and it'll basically come up to where I can receive tokens on there. Next, buy. So buy is pretty cool because it actually uses MoonPay for buying, okay? So if you click however much soul you wanna buy, click continue and then you can type in your email. So very, very cool stuff on there and stuff that I definitely think uh, is very useful if you wanna buy stuff very quickly, okay? Next. After that, going to the next tab over there, okay? For here is collectibles, so assuming NFTs or any collectibles you have, it'll show up here. Next, going to the swap button, okay? So for the swap button, basically it's just like any normal DEX, okay? So you have some Solana, you wanna swap it to USDC, set your slippage down here, 
and then click swap, okay? Easy as that. So very, very cool feature here. Uh, definitely very useful. Next, going over to the last button. Now this one, you can change your password. You can change the auto lock timer. So basically, right now the default's 15 minutes. So if you're not using your wallet for 15 minutes, it'll make it to where you need to re-enter your password, okay? This is good, say you're busy and you're gonna be away, but you don't know how long. Well, you can either lock it right away or you can set this auto lock timer for say one minute, two minutes. So you know if you're away for that time, if someone comes to your computer, it's gonna be locked. They're gonna be required to enter a password. Okay, next, change network. So you wanna use a testnet, devnet. Right now it's just on the main net. Uh, so I keep it there. And then again, show private key or show mnemonic. So basically if you forget what your mnemonic phrase is for your characters, click that. If you wanna have your private key, click that. Again, do not share these with anyone. Even if someone DMs you, do not share these keys with anyone, okay? And then remove wallet if you wanna delete this wallet. And then again, just create another one. So as you can see, very cool features on here. And again, you can do this all on your mobile phone as well. They do have mobile apps. So again, that's what sets Slope apart from many other of these decentralized Solana wallets is they do have a mobile version. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Again, go ahead and follow them on Twitter. If you have any questions about this setup or how to use the wallet, go ahead and leave a comment below, or you can DM me on Twitter at the crypto data. Uh, definitely I'll respond to any comments and please give this video a like if you liked it. Till next time, thanks for watching.